Former President George H.W. Bush remains hospitalized in Houston with sepsis. He's still in intensive care, but is awake. He's alert and he's talking. The former president got sick just a day after the funeral of his wife, Barbara Bush. A spokesman says he's responding to treatments and appears to be recovering from the infection. And as President Bush works to recover, we wanted to take a closer look and find out exactly what is sepsis. Right. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what causes it and why sepsis is so often deadly. It happens fast. Exactly. It can develop very quickly, Jason and Kimberly. When anyone develops an infection, part of the body's response is to release infection-fighting white blood cells as a start. But as the infection becomes more severe, your body responds even more aggressively. Well, sepsis is the extreme reaction that someone experiences from that infection. Any infection in the body, from the lungs, the kidneys, your bladder, even your skin, can trigger sepsis. Sepsis occurs as the body is fighting an infection. Initially, the response helps deliver more blood and oxygen. A person's heart rate increases, their breathing quickens, and a fever develops. A common misconception is that sepsis means that bacteria has gotten into your bloodstream, something we call bacteremia. Now, while bacteremia can also produce sepsis, it's not necessary for the bacteria to have entered your blood to develop a sepsis syndrome. If the infection becomes worse, the sepsis response will too, eventually leading to a dangerous and sometimes deadly fall in blood pressure. At this stage, toxins from the bacteria and even some of the body's own inflammatory mediators are wrecking havoc in the form of septic shock. Without treatment, it progresses to death. Because the source of sepsis is an infection, the main treatment is to find the infection wherever it might be in the body and begin antibiotics. Until the antibiotics control the infection, we do everything necessary to support the patient, including administering additional IV fluids, medications to increase and maintain the blood pressure, and even support a person's breathing. Now, any severe infection can produce a sepsis response, so it is really important that when someone with an infection develops symptoms consistent with developing sepsis, like an increased fever, higher heart rate, fast breathing, significant weakness, that kind of thing, they should contact a doctor because either more antibiotics or supportive care in the hospital may be necessary. Yeah, we saw President Bush shaking a lot of hands and mm -hmm. greeting well-wishers. Does that have anything to do with what happened, just the germs from people? Well, possibly he might have caught some infection there, but they haven't really named what the source of this sepsis or this infection in his case is, so it's hard to say. Yeah, could be broken heart syndrome too, just dealing with, you know, what it has. After a, a sudden wonder. death, right. it does change your immune yeah. response, especially in the elderly. Yeah. Yes. Right. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.